Check. Hey, I want to watch the, the news. news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Smack a macabre, it's time for the only news that matters. Earlier this year, Metalocalypse creator and Deathlock leader Brendan Small, during a recent chat with Blabbermouth, Small linked what is going on with writers right now to Lars Ulrich's battle with Napster in the early 2000s when payments from file sharing music was on the table. Says, uh, do you know what the time feels like to me? This is like when Napster started 20, 25 years ago and there was file sharing and everyone was like, what's happening? Except for Lars Ulrich. When the interviewers brought up that Ulrich had printed out the names of Napster users who have downloaded the band's unreleased single, I Disappear at the time, Smalls responded, he was correct. Back in August, Smalls also credited Ulrich's Napster battle to what's going on with the Hollywood writers in an interview with Full Metal Jackie. At the time, he said, I think people need to come to the table and meet. I do think that there are big conversations that need to be had about streaming rights, residuals, AI. Very big questions. I hate that in this kind of conversation, that I think the music industry should have had it in the early 2000s when Napster and file sharing were happening. Lars already tried to have a conversation. He tried to start it, but I think it's kind of like we should nip it in the butt now so that we can move on and be creative together. And I think that's the kind of what I think is an important thing to say in solidarity with all people striking. I'll say this, I agree with the writers and the guild. I agree with the actors. I started on network TV on UPN with home movies, my first show. You get your Nielsen ratings and see whether you had a job next week. You were in constant danger of losing everything. That's par for the course, but at least it was fair. You know where you stood. There wasn't something hiding behind anything from you. You'd see the ratings and go, I think we're in trouble. Technology is changing and everything has to assimilate. This is a crazy time for all these mergers to be happening. I was lucky to be part of a network, Adult Swim, where somebody wanted to build something new rather than trying to make content. But that word didn't exist. There was creativity and a little bit of danger and an F you attitude. I don't know what the buyers want at these networks. What is your network's ideology? They shrug and say that they'll do anything. All right. Um, yeah, this whole strike thing is going on and the whole AI. It is a strange time we're living in. It kind of makes me feel like we're at the last years of realness. You know, it's like uh, everything's going to be so manipulated by AI that you're not going to know what's what. So, yeah, they're, uh, you know, it's like, if t like, it's like Terminator warned us about this. And yeah, Lars, I, I, even back in the Napster days, I thought, why is everybody attacking Lars? He doesn't want people to download his songs that are not finished. Or songs, period. It's his right. You know, I don't care. I wasn't buying Metallica albums by then. You know, but some people were. And, uh, you know, he was pissed off that they let out a song that wasn't finished yet. And then everybody made Lars the bad guy. But you know what, man? I still stand by it. And I say... Lars was right 100%. That's why the music industry is no longer here because, you know, Lars didn't have his way, you know. But, hey, that's the way it is, actually. I 
Mike Coase on the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast, Ian Waddley told me that uh, there was this thing that happened many, many years ago where they invented something like a car can run so many miles per gallon that it was like, it the, the gas stations, the oil industry were going to lose billions if they were going to release this technology with these cars that hardly, hardly use gas that these big companies paid millions and millions or maybe billions of dollars to keep that out of the market. And the music industry should have done that back in the Napster days, or before Napster really, when the invention of MP3 music industry should have thrown a couple billion dollars and said, outlaw this, don't make this possible. That people would still be buying music today but with the streaming now and it's like nobody's buying any more uh physical media and it's just hurting everything it's hurting the music industry it's hurting hollywood even though hollywood needs a hurting and uh yeah it's just a sad thing and it all boils down to people are not paying for music they're illegally downloading it or they're getting it off some streaming service that doesn't pay the artist anything. And it's just a shame, you know. I know I'm in the minority. I'm out there buying stuff. But I am the minority. But I'm going to keep doing it because I support what I love. And bands deserve money. They're definitely going to get my money. But bands I love deserve to be like they were in the 80s man headlining arenas and living the good life but they can't now they have to charge for vip and stay on the road and and sell t-shirts that the venue's taking half of it's ridiculous out there man if you want to make it in the music industry today it's basically impossible but such is life anyway that is the only news that matters lars was right and thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't ring the little notification bell and you know like the video it's good for the youtube algorithms so stay frosty listen up black sabbath lars was right and smack him a gob farewell and adieu to you fair spanish ladies farewell and adieu you ladies of spain for we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs> Before we get canceled, check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast with me and Wattzilla. We are the Podcast King. Link to the podcast is in the description below and also a link to the YouTube page. Check out all their episodes with visuals. And very soon, either Ian and I will learn how to go on YouTube Live. Might be soon. So check out the greatest podcast ever, according to science.com. It's also God's favorite podcast and Satan's favorite podcast as well. So check out the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast before we get canceled. <laughs>